Hello YouTube, this is the Moron Man 82 here. I'm still visiting my parents for the holidays. I decided to make a video to show you guys my um, remote control submarine that I made probably when I was about 12, 10, 11, 12, I think. Um, long story short, um, I was into marine biology. I liked submarines. I liked Jacques Cousteau. I liked things like that. I wanted a remote submarine. Looked around for the ones that had the the the, the good ones. Um, as you can know, if you deal with RC, they're very very expensive. So I started building my own. I built this frame. Every one of these pieces was cut out of with using uh, snips. I used my old erector set bolts to wire, make the frame together. Um, I added some fins for stability. Of course, this is back when I didn't understand neutral buoyancy or anything, so I had these bottles filled with gravel, and then there was some, some spray foam and foam in there. And um, what I did is I made this whole system by myself. Um, I had a, I ordered parts from a place called Tower Hobbies, which have remote control things. Um, I ordered some motors. Um, I had a battery pack here, and I had uh, these strapped to the top. Everything was, I had a main switch, which was here. I turned everything on. Um, basically, I, I, took a, I took a bucket of parts, and I just invented all this myself. I just built everything. Uh, it took me a month, I think. Um, long hours in the basement here, working on these things. So I had a battery in here, main battery, with some um, pieces of metal to attach positive and negatives to. I have lights. I had lights here, it's just regular bulbs in the back. And um, so I had two motors like this. These are just regular motors. These are brass. Um, RC boat props. I had two of them. I had one here and I had one here. That was to uh, descend and ascend the submarine. Uh, for the front, I made myself a grapple. Now, the grapple consisted of this motor here, which essentially just closed it back and forth. The switch was a pressure switch. So when you I grabbed something and you pushed this, this would close. Um, it would just it would be running off of a nine volt battery like that. I mean, you know, nothing was not everything was waterproof. I did soak the the motors, wrap the motors in plastic and soak them in in a wax to keep them waterproof, and that did work somewhat. Uh, at the back here. What I did was I had a main motor here with a with a small another brass prop. This one, this motor is pretty toast. It's pretty water got into that one. And for the steering, um, I made this design here. It's essentially another motor with a plastic gear and just like a lever design. And this would, you know, be the rudder. Uh, it did work. Uh, I, had a little, I had a few problems with neutral buoyancy. Um, that's why I have I added these flotations later on, but um, I didn't really use it anymore at that point. So I just abandoned the design. Like I guess I became frustrated and I didn't understand what was going wrong. But um, of course, and for underwater, I made a tether system. So there's probably, how many wires are there in there? One, two, so there's six wires, so for three motors. Um, these, these were all wired here. Uh, another problem I had is I didn't put any floats in the line, so any weight of this, the cable would flip it over. So there's a few things I didn't quite understand. I also had a secondary battery. I took this remote off an RC car I had. And these were hooked up to uh, forward, reverse, left, right, and then there was uh, these two, these two switches where the two motors go up and down. And I don't well, remember what this switch was for exactly. The lights, maybe. Anyway, I did have 
and a nine a nine volt battery uh, plug just for the remote to as a secondary I believe I don't quite remember, but uh, yeah I was amazed by my stuff so I just made all made this all from scratch and I, it's all bolted together with these nuts and I drilled I had so many blisters on my fingers trying to drill these and then cutting myself and but um, but yeah it was a pretty good, uh, pretty good I was ahead of my time really I I didn't really I sort of knew what I was doing but I kind of made it up as I go as I went along it did work out pretty well it cost me for the motors and everything. It cost me about a, I don't know, probably a hundred dollars in parts just for the motors and the props. But it did uh, work out pretty well. I mean, if I were to do one now, I would understand more and I would make it ten times better than this. But I mean, I was only 11, 11 or twelve. So, uh, but it did work. I have some pictures that I put in the lake and it did sink and then go up. And, it had a hard time with staying level, like sideways, because of the the weight of the this. Um, I should have had the cable underneath and with buoys, you know. But anyway, so I just thought I'd share this with you guys. So anyway, there it is. So if you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. And until next time.